my name is Ari and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. I type on pins on books and hopefully I'll give a few good recommendations. Before I get started, I would just like to ask you to please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Alright, so today I am doing um, a Game of Thrones book covers different editions ratings. <laughs> I know that's kind of a long title. I'll have to figure that out in editing. But, um... I want to go over all the, not all of them, but a lot of Game of Thrones covers from different countries and kind of rate them to see how I like them. Um, I thought this would be kind of fun. Um, in the future, I want to do more um, popular series, um, books that would have a lot of editions. I want to... Um, I want to talk about those editions and when I think of the covers. So, um, but I thought it was perfect to start with the Game of Thrones book. Um, I'm not going to be doing the whole series for this. I'm just going to do the first book. Um, I love this series, by the way. Um, I read all of the books. Um, it's really good. And I did a review um, for this series a little while ago, a few months ago, um, discussing each of the books and what I thought of them, so if you want to check that out, you can, but for this one, we're just going to judge books by their cover. Um, I think that everyone does that, to be honest, like, judge books by their cover. I for sure do, because some books have really bad covers, but, um, yeah, so I think it would be kind of fun. Anyway, we're just going to get started, and the first one we're going to start with is the one I own, which is this cover um, with the sword. Um, we're going to rate these out of 10 stars. And I am going to be honest and say I do not like this cover at all. I think it is so boring. Like with the fantasy series, you have so many options. You have so many options for cover designs. Because there's like... A, 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 a big world with a lot of visual representations that could be it. There could be a dragon. There could be just a landscape, um, a beautiful landscape or something. But this just does a sword. And I get it. They have swords. But I don't like it. And the rest of the series is like the same thing where it's just like one item on the cover. Um, I don't think it would have worked if it wasn't by this author. And it wasn't as popular. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not an expert. But yeah, this is like 2 out of 10 stars to be honest. It's it's not the best. The next um, one I want to talk about is the UK one. And this one, I love. It's a little busy though. I'm not gonna lie. But in the center there is the creatures from beyond the wall. Um, I think that must be one of the knights or it's, that's the king. Um, anyway, and then on the bottom, it has, like, these two people looking in the same, like, looking towards each other. I'm not for sure who those people are, to be honest. Well, the more I'm looking at it, and then there's, like, this red thing. Like, you'll see it. Um, the image is right there. But the, the, there's, like, this weird, like, red thing that goes around it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That seems really random. And there's a castle in the back, which I'm not for sure if that's at King's Landing or not. If it's at King's Landing, then why is this guy um in on the screen on the book cover because he's at a whole different location. Yeah, now I'm looking at it more, I'm not for sure how much I like it. Because it's a little... It doesn't make much sense. I also don't know who these people are on the bottom. Like, from a distance, like, if you were just to, like, look at it briefly and not really put much thought into it, yeah, it's a really good cover. But I don't... I don't know. I don't know who these people are. That might be... That might be Daenerys. And the man might be... Rob? Eddard? I don't know. John? I don't know. That must be at King's Landing, that thing. Then why is this man here? He's supposed to be behind the wall. Anyway, um, now that I looked at more, I was really going to give that a high number, but now I'm double thinking it, and I think that's going to be like a 6 out of 10. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Because I don't know what this red thing is with the teeth. 
that's like around the cover. That seems extremely off. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Next book we're going to talk about is a Russian edition. Um, so this one, I, um, I kind of like it. It's like a typical fantasy cover. It's, um, but I don't know who these people are. I, this might be Daenerys. This little girl might be Daenerys because she is a lot younger in the books. Um, it could be Arya, but she looks too old to be Arya. Sansa, maybe? That could be Sansa. I don't know who this man is. I'm, I figured he was the, what's that man's name? I can't think. I can't think. He's not that big of a character in the first book. He's the guy that, anyway. Um, and then there's these people on the horses with the dog. Could that be Rob? I don't know. That's the problem with this one is I don't know who these people are. Maybe other people do know who these people are. I don't know, but I just don't think that it's really clear. Oh, and then there's this another woman that's like crouched down low behind the tree. This is a very typical fantasy cover though. Like it has like this older style where it depicts a scene. I don't know if I like that that much where it just depicts a scene from the book. Um, so I'm going to give this like a 5 out of 10. It's just that Game of Thrones is such a good series and none of these covers give it justice. Like none of them capture like capture the feel of the story, you know? When you look at a cover, you should kind of be like, "Okay, this will be a grim dark fantasy that has like dragons and wolves and all that, but it doesn't show that at all. It just shows it just depicts a scene where you have no idea what's going on. So, anyway, the next one we talk about is the French edition. Um, so this one, I like. I like this one. Um, I think I would give this an eight out of ten. So there's like this castle. Okay, so what I do like about it is there's this wolf. Um, that is like the silhouette and then there's like this castle in between which I'm pretty sure is probably King's Landing or it could be is that the that doesn't make any sense anyway um, it's a castle and then there's this man looking out at it who could be Rob Eddard don't know. I guess I can't figure out who the characters in the books are. But yeah, I don't like that it's all blue. Um, I'm not that big of a fan of blue though. Um, but I don't like that it's all blue. I think that if it did some colors, some more colors, that could have been better. Um, I don't know if this captures the feel of the series because if you look at this cover, it does not look grim dark at all. Like it looks... It looks just like a short YA book that has some fantasy elements or a short adult book. It doesn't look like it would be um, what it is. Um, it does not seem grimdark, but it seems kind of light, like a light fantasy, a quick one to get through it, which is not it at all. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with my reading, um, but... Yeah, I don't think it's as good as it could have been, but it's better than the others. Um, then I have this Chinese one. Um, I love this. I love this a lot. So this is the Iron Throne. And I should have imagined the Iron Throne looking just like this when reading the books. I should have. Because this is magnificent. I don't know. This is magnificent. I know it doesn't completely... No, I feel like it captures the series. It shows, like, because the throne is so big and dangerous. It doesn't seem... It definitely does seem more grim dark. Like, this is kind of epic. Yeah. Um, who are these people? I keep... Those are probably just people that work there. And then someone's sitting on the throne. Uh, it's not clear in the image. I don't think it really matters. And I love the red in this scene. I think the red is amazing. I think I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Because I should have imagined the throne like this. Look at the... 
I'm pretty sure that this has to be the throne. And then you walk up the steps to go and sit on it. That's pretty good. I like it. I like that a lot. Um, so the Chinese edition is 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. I think it definitely gets the feel of the story. So, by the way, um, I had like a really hard time finding the covers for each of these books. You know, I think that um, I was looking at the Goodreads and looking at the Goodreads different editions and then I was, you know, looking at that. But then when I would actually look it up on Google, then Google had different images for what that cover would look like in that country. So I couldn't talk about like most of the books that I wanted to, like most of the covers I wanted to, because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out if that was actually the edition for that country and I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. So um, I stuck with these and I wasn't going to do more than these, um, unfortunately, because there was a lot of interesting ones that I thought on from other places, but like I said, I couldn't double check that that's what they were and I didn't want this video to be like a lie or anything. So yeah, but so my last one is this Sherman edition and um, I kind of like it. So it has the wolves. Um, I don't know if it actually captures the feel of this series. It definitely seems like a classic fantasy book. Um, but I don't know if it catches the feel. Because, then again, I don't know who this man is. Well, the helmet... I'm not for sure who the man is. Um, and if it's not the main character, I feel like the the people should be on the covers should be the main characters or people that are extremely relevant to the story so i don't know i'm, I'm so stuck on this in this video like who are these people but anyway um i don't know i actually can't tell you for this one who that is i can't even guess but i do like all the wolves um i can't remember in the Game of Thrones series where a man was going to attack the wolves. I... Did that happen? I don't... I don't know if that happened. I don't think that happened. Where a man on a horse was going to attack the wolves. Man, this is also not a good cover. This is like pretty... This is pretty much like 4 out of 10 because I have no clue why this is the scene on front of the book like anywhere in the series i just don't understand i don't understand what's going on i like the mountains in the back i like the colors and the color schemes um i do like the artwork in general i just don't know what's going on so that's why it's for it um, anyway, unfortunately, that was the last one. I really wished I could have talked about more, but like I said earlier, it was a bit of a struggle finding certain editions for each country, because I had some other interesting ones, but I don't know, maybe I'll do a part two sometime showing those, but I kind of doubt I'll do that because it was, um, because I couldn't find them on the internet, um, but anyway i hope you enjoyed um i am thinking that i am probably going to do um another video on the lines of this um i'll probably do i don't know what has a lot of editions of it probably like the way of kings or um any other popular fantasy series, maybe a dystopian series, I don't know, whatever I want to dedicate another video to, but, um, yes, so I hope you enjoyed, um, that was pretty, that was pretty fun, um, also I did not do any of movie covers because those would all be one out of ten, I hate movie covers for books, especially when the book came before the movie, like, I don't understand that, like, Anyway, anyway, 
Um, I just don't like it when books are lumped in together as the movie. Like, it's like, it's like the same thing, but they're also two separate things, you know? And they should be kept separate in some areas. And I think that they should have. They shouldn't have put, because there was a lot, there was a lot of book covers that have the TV show Game of Thrones on the cover, which I didn't like at all. So, those have been one out of ten. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I upload every single Thursday. Please like and subscribe. And I forgot, it should be Thursday, so happy Thanksgiving um, if you celebrate it. If not, then that's fine. Anyway, um, please like and subscribe. Um, my Goodreads and Instagram is linked down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.